Hello and welcome to Let's Learn How to Play Factorio, Factorio Tutorial. I'm Negative Root, thank you for joining me again, and what we're going to cover in this episode is a bit of intelligence, and restricting builds and using the logic within the game to increase the intelligence of your factory. I'm just going to cover a few basic concepts, nothing too complicated, you know, certainly no logic gates, but things you can do to really improve how your factory works and make sure that it isn't spending too many resources on things like power poles. So what we've got is here's a, a build I put down in my Let's Play. It will automatically build on the same line every kind of box I'd use. There's other boxes that you can use, but I just use these ones. So we've got requester chests being, sorry, passive providers being built here, requesters here, and storage chests up here, and they're all being put into the logistic system. So what I've done is I've created a system that will automatically work if I am to, was to take something out, request some boxes to me, this system would automatically return it to the level that I want it. And I've used smart inserters and the logistical network condition to do so. So what I've done is obviously I have my steel input coming in and overflow is actually being put into the logistical network and I've got an assembler making steel chests. Now this is just one example and it works really nice because it's got a lot of uh, steps to the process. So yeah, that's coming in, that's putting it out on this belt here. Now I'm requesting in a hundred green circuits because they're required for the smart chest. Now the smart chest requires a steel chest and a couple of electronic circuits to build. And once it's built that, it puts it on this line here. Now, all of these boxes require the smart chest and the advanced circuit, the red circuit. So I've got another requester putting, calling in those advanced circuits and then putting them on a belt. Now what each factory does is the same thing. They build different things, but at the base level, they're the same. So I have them making the product, so a fast inserter to put the product in, whatever it is I want, and then a smart inserter to restrict what comes out. Now I've said, if there are less than 10 passive providers in the logistical network, I don't want you to work. That's what that says. So if I was to come up here and say, all right, I'm going to take these out. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't that work? Let's just uh, request a few more to me. Okay, there we go. So apparently there was a few more chests in the network than I thought. Now because I've taken them out, the factory knows that I've taken them out, and it starts building automatically. It doesn't have to wait for me to do anything, it just off it goes. And you'll notice that each step of the factory will actually do that. Now an idea here would actually be add some buffer storage for these poor smart chests, so otherwise they get eaten very quickly. But each step I've done that and I've made sure that it's only building 10 because otherwise I would have to restrict this by size and that isn't going to work when I've got three different products being put into the box. So that's one way of doing things. Another way is to use the red and green wire conditions to restrict what is being built by your factory. Now I just want to go up here and see if I can find what I've done. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. The red and green wires are very fun to play around with because it allows you to control a box. So here it is here. So this is an automated light making factory. We have green circuits being made on site, so it was just easier that way. And then I've set up a red wire condition. So the way you do a red wire condition is you firstly have some red wire in your inventory. You're actually going to need two. And then you connect whatever it is. So connect from the power pole to the box and from the power pole to your smart inserter. Okay? They need to be within range to do it. Oops. I'll just wreck that. Let's just put that back down. And when you do that, that allows you to directly say, okay, you inserter, I only want you to think about this box. Because if I set a network condition for electronic circuits, that's going to throw it out completely. You'll notice that I've got 16,000 
of them and that's very hard to control as a total number on this I've said right I want you to make and have 25 electronic circuits on hand for use in this factory so using the red wire condition I say less than 25 green circuits that's when I want you to work and here's our 25 so I can turn off that restriction and it won't build anymore okay, if I take these out off she goes and she'll build 25 by itself and not have me touch it so in this way you can restrict what you have waiting without having to build a dirty great big stack of 200 in this case of an electronic circuit or a hundred in the case of a uh, an iron plate or a copper plate or something so very good idea to do that when you don't want too many resources just sitting around in boxes you do need to keep things as tight as you can because if you don't you can find yourself just eating and absolutely chewing through the raw resources as fast as possible now I'll give you one more example of ways to use the logistical system and the, the logic within the game to build some really have some really intelligent designs that automatically scale themselves with your game here's a really nice build that I did in my let's play so this is a oil packing and unpacking factory very simple okay we've got the raw crude oil full uh, the barrels full of crude oil coming in they get unpacked and then pumped into my existing oil network okay but here's the beauty of it I want this to scale automatically and one of the biggest things is the empty barrels and making sure you have enough empty barrels with throughout the system to cope with what's happening so every time I add a pump jack network and pack the barrels there is obviously a drain so there's going to be fewer empty barrels what I've done is I've created a little assembler very very simple okay this is a requester it will request in a hundred steel plates so it's got the raw materials and this will build the empty barrels they only take one steel plate each now here's the smart part I've got the empty barrels going into a passive provider now this smart inserter is restricted to a hundred so it only works when there's less than a hundred empty barrels within the network now obviously as the barrels get filled up they stop being an empty barrel and they start being a full barrel so that means there's less of them in the network this inserter knows that and it'll put more of these barrels into the system now if I was to pick up I don't want to pick up them if I was to say pick up these you see that this starts working because it senses that there's less than a hundred in the system and then if I suddenly put them back in it'll stop again because it senses okay there's enough in the system I don't need to work anymore and it's a very very smart way of creating a build that will automatically scale so every time I put you know more of these uh, barreling factories down it isn't going to matter how many full battery full barrels I've got sitting around I'm always going to have a hundred empty barrels just waiting ready to go if I had more capacity, you know, later in the game and I want to make like a super duper awesome oil thing that just like chews thousands of litres of, of crude oil a second, then I can do that and not have to worry about the empty barrels because this factory does it all for me. So there's a few ideas, really basic ideas, just using the green inserters to control how much of something gets built and making sure that it isn't too much you're not having too much of something sitting around doing nothing a good example of what is too much sitting around is all these full barrels because I have a surplus of oil production I've just got them sitting around and if I was smart I'd do something about it but I haven't really come up with a way of doing that yet so if you do have a way feel free to comment I don't pretend to be an expert at this game I've only picked up what I've picked up from playing it so that is my take on increasing the intelligence of your factory and getting it working so that you are in control of what is being built and how much is being built and making sure that efficiency is still working in your favor thank you so much for joining me I've been negative root be sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoy the video um, I, I'm doing this at request of people they asked me to do a few videos and explain a few concepts so that's why I'm here um, if you'd like me to explain something in particular, please let me know. Uh, thank you for joining me again, and I'll see you in the next video.